Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. We will begin per usual with our opening prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you and I ask that you forgive my sins so that you may hear this prayer. Thank you, Lord, for yet another day that we get to see the light of for the precious rest that you gave us in the night before. And today we breathe in your mercy. What a beautiful thing it is to come into your presence. I humbly ask that you continue to bless our lives with your presence, that we walk in grace and make our hearts your dwelling place. We want to serve you, Lord. We want to worship you with our lives. We want to make you happy and demonstrate just how much we love you too. Father, how amazed we are that you remembered us and that you revealed yourself to us. But to those who still don't know you or haven't felt brave enough to take the step of faith, we ask that you move your hand of mercy and reach out to them while there's still time. We ask that you rescue their souls so they may be added to the flock to receive the gift of salvation because that's the best thing that we could ever have, the chance of redemption and eternal life in your kingdom. We pray for the sick, for the handicapped, for the poor, the needy, all of the ones who are in need of your help. You are our provider and our protector. And as your word says, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Remember them as well, Lord, those who are in these situations. And if we can be a helping hand to anyone, use us for your glory. Prepare our hearts, O Lord, for all these things that are your work and that you may use us as your instruments. Prepare our hearts for the Sabbath coming up, that we may act in reverence and fear of you, Lord in heaven, honoring your holy day as we know we should with our true and honest worship. Bless us all your children, Father, and I pray for all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our devotional for today is titled The New Day, written by Betty Sunsa translated by Nelson Bidas and taken from the book Mesa de Fe. Our biblical base is found in the book of Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17. So says the word of God, I love those who love me, and those who seek me diligently will find me. Amen. May we be blessed through the reading of God's word. The New Day How many good things the new day brings! I like to wake up and know that I'm alive, that I can see the sunlight, that I can look at the gray clouds that cross the skies, preparing to let the rain fall. I like to breathe the breeze that comes from the north and feel how it fills me with life. How comforting it is to share with God that moment before the sunrise and ask for his divine care. How pleasant it is to perceive the sweet smells of the kitchen when mom prepares breakfast. How beautiful it is to share early morning hours with my family, knowing that they are well, that they are alive, and that we are still together in life. I'm glad to know, and I thank God, for the fact that the routine of my life continues just as simple and uncomplicated. How many good things can one perceive with the new day? A new sun, a new opportunity, a new life. If yesterday I did something wrong, if yesterday I made mistakes, if I hurt someone, if I didn't love, if I was indifferent, if I didn't laugh, if I sinned, if I neglected myself, if I hated, today that all can change. With the new dawn, a new life begins that may be better than yesterday. 
With a new day, there is a new path to go through, a new battle to fight, a new and beautiful opportunity to be better, to succeed. It may be a new opportunity to leave mistakes behind, leave them in the past, leave them in oblivion, and restart a life that leaves an indelible mark of kindness, love, and peace. Amen. Wow, that is so beautiful. What a blessing, my brothers and sisters, to know that we are able to enjoy this kind of life, to live a life with God. What a peace of mind. What a joyful thing to know that our Father, Lord in heaven, gives us new life every single morning we wake. And that is why it's so important that every morning, that every day that we get to open our eyes and see the dawn of a new day, we come to Him in gratitude. We come to Him in prayer, not only to ask Him for the protection for the day, or if we're going through something, coming to Him with our petitions and asking for His aid, but to worship Him as well, to give Him all our adoration, to sing songs to Him, to let Him know that we are so grateful that He is part of our lives. Or maybe not only part, that He is the owner of our lives, that He is in total control of our lives and that's why we are able to see the light of a new day every single time that he permits it and as his word tells us his mercies are new like those mornings that we see when we get the chance every single day he gives us not only a new sun physically but he also gives us a new chance at mercy, at his grace, and of his love. And as this article beautifully laid it out and said, if yesterday we made mistakes, if yesterday we did something that we are not proud of, that we feel guilty of, that we hurt someone, that we did something that offended our brother or sister or the Holy Spirit, Every day is a new chance. Every new morning is an opportunity to come into his forgiveness and receive that and be embraced and be filled with his love and that desire to be different. From now on, Lord, help me to change that. Give me that opportunity to change the old ways and become a better person, a better Christian, a better husband, a better wife, a better daughter, a better son, a better employee, a better civilian. In everything, we need the Lord's help in every single day. That is the beauty of it, my brothers and sisters. Every single day, the Lord gives us that chance. So blessed be his holy name, because not only do we have God in our lives, but we have his hope, we have his love, we have his redemption. So don't stay stuck in the past. What happened, happened. We are all human. We are all prone to make mistakes. But don't get hung up on that, my dear friend. Simply think of that new sun that he has waiting for you, that new burst of sunshine that he has waiting to radiate your life. Or maybe he has some rain, as the author mentioned as well, to cleanse away your sins and make of you a new creature. Once again, we bless his holy name and we thank him for his love and for his new mercies that are new every day. Amen. May God receive all the honor and the glory, and I pray that you were blessed through this devotional. But before we end this session, I kindly invite you to visit our YouTube channel, SEC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading. 
And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children, now and forever. Amen. This was your sister, Kaylee Castaneda, praying that you have a happy Friday.